After months of training for battle, China's short humanoid robots are popping up everywhere in the West. Imagine you're minding your own business and you see this robot walking down the street. They just proved they don't need help from humans to play football in Beijing. And now they're emerging in clandestine arenas to bring it on. Leading Chinese robotics firm Unitree recently hit unicorn status. A year after its short king, the G1, introduced itself to the world wielding a baton. Standing around 1.2 meters, about the height of an average sixth grader, the G1 has become popular among researchers, developers, and increasingly, content creators, thanks to its relatively low entry price of $16,000. With 23 to 43 motorized joints, the G1 can be controlled by remote control, teleoperation, imitation learning, or autonomously through reinforcement training. The robot's capabilities have improved dramatically over the past year with marketing videos demonstrating human-like dancing and martial arts moves. In the US, G1 humanoids have gone viral as they've been spotted wandering around the streets of Austin and Detroit. The G1's success accelerated the development of a wave of other short and relatively affordable Chinese humanoids, including the PM1 by Engine, the Linkshi X2 by Agibot, the N1 by Noetics Robotics, and most recently, the Z1 by Magic Lab. The T1 by Booster Robotics has become a popular choice in global robotics competitions, including RoboCup and Beijing's recent autonomous humanoid robot football match. Price starting around $34,000, the open-source T1 is intended for developers. Like the G1, Booster's robots have become popular in an emerging market that caters to the demographic that grew up aggressively modding remote control cars for battle. In San Francisco, robots from Booster and Unitree participated in a recent underground fight club. In viral clips circulating on social media, Booster T1 humanoids can be seen boxing in cage matches in a club basement. The event's organizers, Ultimate Fighting Bots, teased that the tournament was just a glimpse of what's coming.